review. First off, thank you so much to Fox Searchlight for inviting me to the early screenings. I always like to thank the studio when I get invited to one of these. And let me just say, this is up there with Champions, which came out earlier this year, as the contender for the feel-good movie of the year. And let me get this out of the way. I know there's a lot of people in the comments that are going to go, you know this isn't a true story, right? Yes, I'm aware. I'm aware this movie is not all the way true. I'm aware this may or may not technically be a true story, but this is Hollywood, folks. That's what Hollywood does. They exaggerate details. They omit details. Things get changed around for the sake of the story. Movies like Elvis, Greatest Showman, Eddie the Eagle, all those movies like that. You can't tell me that those are all 100% accurate. All these true story movies have a little bit of things change around for the sake of the story to make it more interesting. I don't mind if certain things are spiced up a bit if it means the story is good. And honestly, yeah, this is a really charming little film. It is one of the most inspiring films of the year. It shows that no matter where you are in life, you have the potential to make your life how you want it, no matter your position, even if it takes a lot of hard work and you face setbacks and failures along the way. So, Gerald Potts there without giving too much away, just giving you the setup. The main character is this guy, he didn't make the best decisions early in his life. He faced a lot of racism and discrimination because he's an immigrant from Mexico. And so he kind of started doing drugs, stealing, you know, committing all these other crimes. But he does eventually find a religion. He finds a supportive girlfriend who eventually becomes his wife. And he works really hard to get a job. But no matter where he applies, nobody will hire him because he's Mexican. He doesn't have a lot of education. But he does eventually land a job as a janitor working at Frito-Lay. Now at this time, this is kind of before the Reagan years and during the Reagan years, Frito-Lay's having some cutbacks. They're needing to lay off employees at the plant where he works. And he notices Frito-Lay doesn't have a large variety of flavors. So he gets the idea to experiment with different spices, and he eventually makes the recipe for, you guessed it, Flamin' Hot Cheetos. That's all I'm going to say. That's, there's more to it than that. That's just the basic gist of the plot. But there is more to it than that. And you want to go into this kind of line, because the story is really interesting. This, uh, there's a lot. So this movie is also a lot funnier than I was expecting it to be. There's also a lot of really snappy dialogue in this movie. I was quite surprised by how funny and witty this movie was. I got a few good laughs at this. But this is a Hollywood underdog story. So as a consequence, you're going to get all the Hollywood underdog story cliches. You got the supportive wife. You got the wise friend. You had the evil corporate monster. You know, the man. The man is always putting them down, right? The closest thing I compare this to is it's very similar to the first Rocky movie. It's got a lot of those tropes, narratively. It's got kind of the same narrative structure, same kind of tropes. So it is a little bit, you've kind of seen this before with some of the way that it does things, but despite the elements, I had a good time with it. I found it very entertaining with likable characters you want to see succeed. I also found it very inspiring and uplifting. This is one of the feel-good movies of the year. I think everyone can get something out of it and be inspired by it, even if at times it is a bit cheesy. <laughs> and the story may have been exaggerated to spice things up. This release is on Hulu and Disney Plus on Friday, so if you want to see a feel-good underdog story, give it a watch. For me, it gets a B, 8 out of 10, and 4 out of 5 stars.